Who's going to win this game? Let's go, chat. Give me a one if you think Henry wins his fifth overall belt for individual, and give me a two if you think 88 pulls the upset. And what a day it would be for 88 if he can pull this off, Nick. The grandest prize in our sport. Madden belt time, Nick. I'm ready. Start things off. Henry with the ball. Picks up nine underneath. Quick throw. And we saw that's how Henry started off his last game against Cole, working underneath to soften up the defense. Yeah, and you see him comes out in this gun bunch offense, but loves to audible over to the tight formation. 88's going to counter with that 3-3 loop. This time he goes inside Come zone. On. So we'll see if Henry on, stays a little bit more balanced, goes to Byers against this loop defense. But right there, we saw all day 88 has been ready for the run game in that 3-3 loop defense. Book said a key to this game is getting a stop on the first drive. Well, he's got Henry in a third and one. And we got our first timeout of the game. We can't take those to the second half, and Henry wants to think about what he's doing. Yeah, and, and if we want to base this game off, you know, the past performances of what these guys have done today, let's be honest, 88 has played better today than Henry did. You know, Henry was lucky to survive that game against Cole. Did not play great. Football, on the other hand, played phenomenal, especially and in that second half. And nowhere to go up the middle of the run defense. Standing tall for Mr. Football. He'll lose a yard. Fourth and two, Henry hurries to the line. Don't play with this man with the run game. Here we go. Huge play. Tight slots. Brady back to pass. Pressure picked up nicely over the middle. He's wide open. There's Plaxico Burris. And Burris is past midfield of the 46-yard line. Henry, with a wipe of the brow, picks up the first down. Yeah, no sweat to Henry. Just a little wipe right there at the top. Remember, Henry's built for these pressure games. He's done it time and time again. Great route combo. High-low read, slant post combo. Stresses the user. Football chooses the underneath route. Henry goes behind him on the post. Great play design. He's got four short and elites out there. Herman Moore, Plax, CD, and Taysom Hill. And, of course, he's got that Brady. Hot route master, set feet lead, fearless and gunslinger. I'm in deadly combo at the quarterback position. Yeah, don't forget, too, those two edge protectors as we have a free play here. And he's got him right side. That's Taysom Hill picking the first down to the 30-yard line. And don't forget those two edge protectors, too, that Henry has at, the, at both tackle positions, right? We don't see a lot of the edge protectors here. Does a good job to counter the double or nothings. Um, so that's something to look for as well in this high-powered passing attack. First and ten. Tight slots formation. Brady in the gun. Byers on his right hip. Brady drops back, steps up, throws it. End zone. Herman Moore, give me more. Touchdown. Henry looking for number five. <laughs> Another free form beauty. Streak route free forms it with that left trigger to the outside shoulder. Absolute beam from the king. Well, I mean, that drive went absolutely swimmingly, if I do say so for myself. Henry walked his way down the field. Flawless. I mean, absolutely flawless. Route combinations on point. The run game wasn't great, but as we take a look at this replay, what a, as we take a look at this, the slant post call on fourth down, that was huge, right? Flexico burst over the top, big completion, and then here, look at this free form dot. Outside shoulder, high ball, Herman Moore. What a drive for Henry. Well, now we get to see what Mr. Football does offensively, and if it's any indication what he's done in the prior two games, it's going to be a lot of pressure on Henry's run defense as Keith Byers has been his MVP. Yeah, and you've got to think that Henry's game plan going in is, I cannot let 88 beat me with the ground game, right? I, whether you want to switch defenses, get out a dollar, get out of the 3-3, three, 3-3-5 three, 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 wide, maybe go to nickel over, but you just cannot allow this inside zone offense to beat you, right? Force 88 to have to pass the ball to beat you. Mr. Football's first snap from the 25-yard line in trouble. Gets hit. He's lucky that wasn't a D-line pick. Yeah, he, he's just a few seconds late on that. He did have the corner out to the left side. If he would have highballed that deep down the field, probably could have rat caught it. But you see 88. I think he knows that Henry's ready for this run game. Henry in that 3-3-5 wide does a great job to blow up the run. But I want to at least see him test it out. But it looks like he's going to go the passing attack again. Second and ten. Mr. Football splits Byers out of the backfield. Empty backfield for John Elway. The stand for Cardinal over the middle. He finds an Oklahoma Sooner. That's C.D. Lamb with 37. Lamb was his best receiver in that semifinal matchup. 
Yeah, without a doubt. Nice dot right there. Goes over the middle. High, low read. Gets behind the user. Big conversion. On first and 10, looks left side. There's CD once again. Picks up eight. And Henry going pretty much strict man coverage here across the board. Nice little dig route there. Does a good job with that short in elite ability to beat man coverage. That's why, guys, you want to get those short in elite abilities on your receiver if you play Madden Ultimate Team because they do a great job against man coverage, especially under that 10-yard threshold. Second and two. Corner out left side. He's got two routes over there. He'll find CeeDee Lamb. Three straight catches for the Dallas Cowboy. Big number 88 has Mr. Football moving and grooving. Mr. Football showing, hey, I can pass the ball too. I know my run game's great, but I can go up top. Ooh, no. Oh, he almost got it off the, de the deflection. That could have been a touchdown, a pick, a little bit of everything. A little bit of a smirk there from 88. He knows he could have got lucky in the blanket hoodie there. But that was a crazy play right there. Henry very fortunate that 88 didn't come down with that. Empty backfield. Now throw this one away. Quick pressure forcing oh, yeah. the throw away. Third and 10 now for Mr. Football. Yeah, what a what defense right there from Henry. 88 tried to go with the dual corner routes with the streaks, try to bring those streaks that are bring back the zones, but Henry was all over it. Great adjustment with those deep zones outside. On third down, in trouble, gets rid of it, but unfortunately Richard Sherman is the uh, other team picked off by Henry. The first mistake of the game, and TD, the last thing you want to do when you're taking on the four-time belt winner is start off your game with a turnover. Henry doing Henry things. Richard Sherman lurks the wheel route, relies on that defense. Henry starting out great here in our championship game. Come on. Ooh, that's a tough throw. The KO lit up there. We'll pry that one free. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Yeah, we'll see what Henry goes through here. See if he tries to go back to the ground game like he did on the first drive. But you can see with that Ted Hendricks, uh, 88's user has been phenomenal. So I, I expect him to stick to the passing game. And once again, those KOs lighten up. You look at Mr. Football's defense. Peppers, Johnson, Woodson, Carmichael, and Verrett all have KOs. Uh, and Carmichael, Woodson, Johnson, and Peppers all with that deep out zone KO and uh, a combination of mid zone KOs and flat zone KOs. He's looking to just knock out the ball everywhere. Look like Mike Tyson. Long. And then this time sends the screamer with the loop, comes free up the A gap, puts Henry in a tough situation. I love the row combo Henry went to on that second down. And then third down, he screams. And now 88 needs this defensive stand right here to stay alive early in the first. Watch Taysom Mill here. He loves this play, Nick. Can Mr. Football get the stop back? Fourth and 10, left side. It's Taysom Hill, but he's short of the line of the game. A huge tackle for Mr. Football's defense, and Mr. Football able to make a little bit of amends for that interception. He gets the ball back in good field position. That is the defensive stand that Mr. Football needed. Gets right back into it. Great play call from Henry, just a few yards short. Football gets the tackle, and now he's cooking with sauce at the 36. Lots of time, but nobody open. He'll throw that one away. Yeah, great coverage right there. Henry with the all-out coverage. Had uh, man, mixed with zone, low combo defense. And you can tell 88 doesn't feel too comfortable right now on offense without being able to use that run game. Second and 10, empty backfield again for Mr. Football. Not going to the run game early. Lots of time throws it left side. That's Taysom Hill. Tight coverage, but is able to complete it to the 13-yard line. Red zone opportunity for 88. Yeah, motions out the running back wide. Puts him on a streak route to clear out the defense. Corner out there. Taysom Hill does a great job against the man coverage. The, the, the running back uh, cleared out the deep zones. Great dot from 88. He's looking right side, high ball, almost caught off the rebound again. Taysom Hill was looking for the easy six. It will fall to the ground, incomplete. Scary play. Went dual wheel routes there. Tried to high ball the wheel route. Very risky pass. You know, probably would have worked a little bit earlier in the Madden season. Good defense from Henry. In trouble. What now? 
Henry starting to dial up some pressure. Third and ten for Mr. Football. Todd, he's got to cash in here. Yeah, he has to. Seven is a must in this situation. I mean, points are critical, so you definitely don't want to turn the ball over. You don't want to take a chance if it's not open, but seven would be, you know, huge for him. Elway in trouble, and Elway takes the seat. Loss of one, fourth and 11 for Mr. Football. And he doesn't want to test him anymore. He's going to oh, kick his three as we'll reach oh, the so end of one. Seven, nothing. Henry with the lead. And a reminder to everybody out there, we appreciate you guys hanging with us all night long. Make sure you share your feedback on tonight's show by filling out our broadcast survey. Uh, the link to the survey will appear in the chat throughout the night and can all be accessed by clicking the share feedback banner at the bottom of our Twitch page. We do read it. We do love uh, hearing you guys how we can make these shows better each and every time. Because, uh, uh, Ty, let's be honest, if it wasn't for the people out there hanging out in the chat, uh, we probably wouldn't have jobs. Exactly. There would be no show if it weren't for the people out there. The 20,000 plus right now on Twitch and however many on YouTube as well. We appreciate you guys rocking with us all night long. It's been a great night of action. And here we go. We're going to find out who's going to get that belt. Now Henry back on offense. 7-3 the score. Henry looking to extend his lead. Brady up the seam. He's got him. That's Herman Moore to the 48-yard line. Another first down for Henry. He looks like he is locked in here in this final. Seam streak laser right there from Henry. Zone coverage. You know you can pass lead that inside. High balls it. Phenomenal dot. In trouble. He'll throw this one away. Finally, some pressure there from Mr. Football. Henry's done a nice job. We saw Mr. Football getting home uh, pretty easily against Dez. Henry's got the protection scheme that's been able to keep the pocket clean. Yeah, but Nick, he did miss a wide open read right there. He had CeeDee Lamb on the corner out with a streak behind it to clear out the zones. I mean, CeeDee Lamb was wide open. Just a missed read from Henry. On second and ten. Left side, it's Byers with the catch near the first down marker, bringing in Boogs. Boogs, an interesting start to this game. Mr. Football just not able to get the offense going. Oh, yeah, he's definitely not able to get the offense going against Henry right now. Henry, is he's running that 3-3-5 three, three, wide. He's, he's decided, you know what, you're not going to run the ball. You're not going to just have your way like this. And, and so far, it's worked, off, it's worked out great for Henry. Come on. What a, ooh, I thought it was right a side. Oh, that was a dangerous throw. The KOs lighten up. And fourth and two. Can Mr. Football get another stop? Ooh, big decision here. That was that was close, man. The, looked like the cloud flat was playing at about 20 yards. Thought he might be able to get the corner behind it. And this is a big defensive stand here. Football can can get this right here. Good lurk. In the pocket over the middle. Caught Plaxico Burris in between four defenders. Picks up a first down as Henry keeps the drive alive. And Boogs, that's been that's been Henry's bread and butter. That 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 uh, slant post combo over the middle, right? You bring the user down the slant, post comes right behind it. Great dog. Oh yeah, Ty, he's putting he's putting a lot of pressure on his user and forcing him to have to to yep. pick and choose, and he just got yep. dotted it right yep, there. Yeah, that's CD Lamb. That's TD Lamb. That's touchdown for Henry. His lead is extended, and already, Boogs, already, it's the first half. We're not even to the two minute warning, and it feels like this is a desperate drive for Mr. Football. Oh, yeah, Nick. Like you said, 88 is going to really have to shift things. He's going to have to go down this field and answer and reply back to Henry on this drive. He has to get seven here. He does, he does get the ball back at half, so he's, he's not in a panic mode. But defensively, what he's definitely going to have to do, he's going to have to get pressure on Henry. Henry likes to send five out every play. You have to get pressure on him and make him start blocking some people. This return will go up to the 18 yard line. Take a look one more time at the fourth and two pickup tie. I didn't, I didn't know if he was gonna complete this one or if Mr. Football was gonna click on, but he's able to get the completion. And then this one just too easy. Yeah, and that's the play Henry had earlier that I said he missed the read, right? That CD Lamb corner out. He goes right back to it, and it's wide open once again. So 88 is really struggling to defend this high-powered uh, passing attack from Henry. Second and five, Elway back to pass, pressure right side. And again, getting home quickly. And Ty, we haven't seen Mr. Football 
I, I know he talked about adjusting with that run game because he saw the dollar, and Henry's not playing that dollar defense, but does he mix in the run at all just to take some pressure off? That, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, I know the 3-3-5 wide does a great job versus it, but you can't just completely get away from your game plan. Go to it at least on first down. Get a feel. Maybe you can break one because he just does not feel comfortable passing the ball every play. Pressure on the left side. He's going to lob it up. Might have Megatron, but the breakup, the knockout going crazy. He could have had six. Instead, it's incomplete. It's fourth and five. Yeah, and you hate to say it so early, but for Mr. Football, this could be the ball game this early. Needs to stay alive. Needs to convert here on fourth and five. On fourth down, empty backfield again. Back to pass, four-man rush picked up over the middle. It is complete. C.D. Lamb breaks the tackle, almost went back over the first down line. And you know Mr. Football, he was jamming on that stick to make sure that he didn't go back over the line to gain the first down as we near the two-minute warning. And you see how valuable that uh, motion from the running back is. Henry didn't have it manned up, so he was forced with his user to go out there and guard that running back streak. And when, he, when the user went all the way out wide, it opened up his little dig route underneath for an easy completion to beat that man coverage. So great play design from F Football 88 on a crucial play. Second and 12. LA back to pass, stepping up and sitting on down. Losing five on the play to Marcus Ware in on the sack. The Cowboy legend wreaking havoc in the backfield. These defensive ends are just screaming, causing havoc right now on 88's offensive line. Third and 17. Looking over the middle for Taysom Hill. Ah. Makes the catch right in front of the defender and picks up the first down. <laughs> Big first down there from Mr. Blanket Hoodie, but really there's nothing, I mean, open. Like, these are tight windows. Henry's defense is absolutely dialed in. He guarded the C route. He had a, a zone over there to go in front of that post. I mean, this is tough living. And there goes Megatron, breaks free, and is inside the red zone once again. 50 seconds left in the first half. Mr. Football needs to cash in for six. I'd like to see him go to that more, right? We saw it earlier where he kind of got an unfortunate bounce, but man coverage one-on-one, -on -one, go with the high ball to your best receiver. Second yard. Interesting to hurry back to the line, then use that timeout, one timeout left for Mr. Football down 14 to three. Yeah, and if he can punch this in though, Nick, for a touchdown, this is massive, right? He seems like he's been, he's been all played this whole first half, but if you can go in, punch this in, maybe go for two, make it a three point game, you're gonna have tons of momentum and confidence going into the second half. Second in a yard, and he's going to take a false start. Too many audibles on that play. Did, just doesn't seem comfortable inside the red zone against Henry. No, he doesn't. No, wasn't sure if he wanted to run the ball. Then he tried to audible out of it, and he did too many audibles. Elway throws it up. Ooh. High ball. And that's the first that's one the we've seen time, today. Man. Megatron skying for that touchdown. And Mr. Football cuts into the lead. Gets right back in it, and that was amazing. That's what you want to do. You get that man coverage on the outside, solo side, take your one-on-one -on -one chance there with Megatron. He did it twice on that drive. This time pays dividends. Touchdown, Mr. Football. Kick is away. 14 seconds left in the first half, and what has been a... Ooh. Defensive struggle as Henry getting sticky out there. Cordero Patterson will take that to the 19-yard line. Take a look one more time. Tyler Davis, this one, throw it up to Calvin Johnson. An absolute nasty business. Yeah, I like to call it KYP. Know your personnel. Mr. Football fired up, goes to Megatron, six foot five, one on one. You can't guard that man. Gets right back in. I do think Henry is gonna be a little aggressive in this situation. Maybe try to take a chance. Screamed out up the middle, down, goes. Henry, and that will end the half. How about the pressure, making sure there was no play down the field, 14 to 10. And Ty, I would not say this is a good half for Mr. Football, but go in only down by four, he's got life. I agree 100%. You would think kind of, you know, Henry's outplayed him. 
this whole first half up until that last minute or so where football 88 had a money drive, a guap drive, goes down, scores, and then the thing is he gets the ball to start the second half. So you thought he might have been dead in that first quarter, but Mr. Football has plenty of life as we head into the second half. 14 to 10. Anyone's ball game. 10 minutes left before we crown a champion. It is the number one seed, Henry, with the lead over Mr. Football. It is Mr. Football with the ball down by four TD. This feels like this is the most important drive maybe of Mr. Football's entire Madden career. No doubt about it. I'm so impressed with how Mr. Football has bounced back from adversity early in that second quarter. We'll see if he can keep up with King Henry here, but opening drive, this is huge for him, right? If you can go down and get seven, that will do so much for his confidence. LA right side, I'll throw this one away. Good defense from Henry. Boy, the defense seemed to have stepped up for Henry. And, you know, I don't know if it's because he, Mr. Football had to play a game where he had to adjust so much and play so much of the run game, but Mr. Football does not look comfortable passing the ball. No, he doesn't. And I think Henry was in a, in a good position there, right? He, he won his first game, but then second game, he got to sit back, kind of watch, see exactly what 88 was doing, get a game plan in his head for what he wanted to do going into the finals. Second and 10. Stanford Cardinal John Elway, Hall of Famer, Denver Bronco, looking left side, he finds big Taysom Hill to the 41 yard line. Boy, if Taysom Hill can be anything like what he has been in the in the ultimate wild card, the Saints got themselves a problem. Yeah, that Taysom Hill is amazing. I mean, that short in the lead for zero AP, he's just cooking everyone. Like he had about three steps on his defender that time. Oh, the run game. Dog. Have you seen this? We have yeah, not. Third carry for Byers, and he picks up eight. Finally. So maybe he goes to a little bit more in the second half. I think you test it out, right? You haven't even tried it against a 3-3-5 wide. You've got to just give it a look. You've been so successful with it all tournament long. Burst. Motions from left to right out of that trips formation. Hill the lone tight end right side. Elway in the shotgun. This football using the entirety of this play clock. Sees so back to pass, and he throws over the middle. Quick throw, and it's on the way. Calvin on the way. Johnson to the 42 yard line. And there's that route tech ability on that Calvin Johnson. So a little baby dig route, but able to beat that man coverage. Nice completion, able to move the chains. On first down, he goes on back to the wet. ground game and we're seeing some, some nice. halftime adjustments, TD. Mr. Football going back to the ground attack. I love it. And we haven't seen him run trips tight end offset all tournament long. He's going deep into his bag, goes with a little, I believe it was like a power counter on that weak side of the trips, and gets a nice manual five yards. So I love what 88 is doing here, adjusting to his opponent in the second half. Three-man rush. Stepping up with Elway. Find and taking off with no. Elway. Find a way. And he... Kind of takes a hit. Nonetheless, picks up the first down of the 31. <laughs> Both guys getting nervous right there. Takes a huge hit with Elway. That majority of the time is a fumble. He's very fortunate. Getting a left side pops up in the air. I think he's done four of those high balls, uh, TD. Three of them have sort of gone like that. One ended up in the end zone. Yeah, and, and he's gone to trips now a little bit more. Goes to verticals there. Tries to high ball that scene play. So really getting deep into the playbook. Goes with that high ball, can't come down with it. Second and ten. Empty backfield. As Mr. Football looks to take the lead. Come Looking on. down the seam, throws it up. He's got seven on his jersey. He's got seven in the end zone. Mr. Football with a masterful drive to start the second half. Mr. Football is him. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one player in the world. What a laser beam down the seam. Once again, there's that Taysom Hill. Man coverage with Julius Peppers. Gets a few steps on him. And Mr. Football is playing an amazing game. He has showed up in this ultimate wildcard tournament. Kick is away to Henry as Patterson will take this up past the 20 to the 23 yard line as we take a look one more time at the play that gave Mr. Football his first lead of the game it's Taysom Hill right down the middle yeah fired up about it too one on one with Julius Peppers he gets a little bit of that speed boost animation and throws it with a nice pass lead into the end zone now Henry's first offensive drive it starts I think the exact same as his first drive in the first half started that quick little pass to Keith Byers for five Henry's been great. 
He's been super efficient on offense. Nice check down there. You see uh, 88 sending five out of that DB fire two zone coverage. She got the middle of the field open that time. Throws it to the wheel route in the little middle seam of that defense. Second and five, quick throw over the middle. There's Plasco Burst, big hit at the 42 yard line. Looked like a Home Depot with all the lumber being laid by Mr. Football's defense. Huge hit right there. Good high ball dot from Henry. Little dig route, high balls it, keeps the chains moving. Brady on first down, quick throw left side. So you see the offensive game plan from Henry really taking what Mr. Football gives him, not afraid to use the underneath passes. And that's been Henry's money play all game. That flood concept to the left side. You got CeeDee Lamb on the corner route with a streak behind it, and you have the little check down drag route. This time he checks it down to the drag, picks up a nice six yards, puts himself in a manageable second and four. Brady on I mean, second and Left four, him. right side, has him open, that's Taysom inside the 20, trying to get sticky, and instead runs into a Mack truck. Big hit out there by the 14-yard line, but it's a first down nonetheless for Henry, who's inside the red zone. And you see 88 just left him. It was the corner out. He was going to get wide open, and the user just left him. Henry throws it right in there. All sorts of time, but not a single receiver open. And it really tightens up down here. Obviously, we've seen 88 struggle a little bit down here in the red zone. Let's see what Henry can do. Earlier, he loved that corner out to CeeDee Lamb. If, if football's in that type of cover four drop uh, deep zone defense, maybe he goes back to the corner out to the uh, pylon. 17-14, three points separate. This guy's from a, here in this championship game. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis along with you. Big shout out to everybody who's been with us all season long. As it's a high oh, ball man. over the middle, big hit. Look, was looking for it, looked like Herman Moore over the middle. But those KOs able to knock free that ball. Third and ten, the number one player in the world. I think Henry was hoping that uh, Herman Moore wasn't manned up there. He was hoping it was zone. He could get it in that seam streak high ball. But it was man coverage, one-on-one, -on -one, not able to come up. Whoa! <sighs> and that was just a straight-up miss. And Mr. Football with a fist pump, fourth and ten. And it looks like Henry, much like Dez did in the semifinal, he's going to settle for three. Could that propel Mr. Football with just 39 seconds left in the third quarter? Tyler Davis, we're all tied up. <laughs> tied up as we probably head into the fourth. Huge defensive stand from 88. I mean, Henry cooked up a laser. Let's be honest. Seam streak. It was zone coverage. Oh, Taysom Hill just, just overthrew it to him. And now 88 has a chance here to take the lead. That ball taking the 22 yard line. Let's see what Mr. Football does on this drive. Is here's that third and ten play. It looked like he had Taysom open. Uh, that high ball just a little too high for the big tight end at BYU. Very unfortunate. I mean, Henry cooked it up and he threw it. He th perfect timing, threw the high ball. Just just got a bad animation. Something you never want to get. But fortunately for 88, he's able to hold the three. He don't like that at all. Henry's defense came up big against Cole. Can he come up big Ooh. here? How about the first time we've called Steve Smith's name? He might not be the biggest receiver, but he's got great hands. I know one great use in the back seat, and that's how a Panther comes down with a catch. It's a first down for Mr. Football. <laughs> and you hear 88 saying he don't like this play. Every time he motions out that running back, right, he either goes to the corner route, uh, he, the, the running back stresses the user. We got to bring it all the way out there. So you got the corner out, you got the, the underneath dig. But this time, he goes to Steve Smith on the slot streak on the left side. Hasn't gone to that all game, but goes to it there. Big conversion. I didn't see an absolute storm of fours in the chat because we're going to the fourth quarter. We're five minutes away from crowning a wild card champ, and we are exactly where we started. All knotted up. 17 apiece here in the ultimate wild card. That way. Oh, that's going to be an intentional grounding. Henry's defense forcing a penalty. That's a sack to the 30-yard uh, line instead of a second and forever. We've seen like a million times that when Henry's in these do-or-die situations, he comes up with a defensive stop when he needs it the most. Does he have another one in him? On the right side, that's caught by Taysom Hill. They'll get eight of it back, third and 13. Can Henry's defense step up? See what he goes to. I'm surprised he's not going to his to his tight formation. He's gonna go trips. 
So he's not super comfortable in this formation. Obviously, just started bringing it out here in the second half. Motions Calvin Johnson from left all the way to the right side. Byers slightly offset to the right side behind John Elway. Four-man rush from Henry, now facing pressure. He's going to throw it up right side, and that's picked off. 81 on the other team, able to get the interception. And this is where it gets dangerous, Tyler Davis, because now Henry, with 4.14 to go, has a chance to slam the proverbial door. Mr. Football pressed the wrong button, I believe. I mean, just had nothing open. I think he, I think he tried to throw it a Y on the left side, I'm guessing, at the last second was kind of open but just basically threw it up and gave Henry a gift, and that's what we just talked about. Henry seems to come up with a defensive stand when he needs it the most, and there is a lot of time left, so I'm not going to say that's the, the game right there, but that is a huge backbreaker for 88 to make that mistake. Brady stepping up, first down to Burris, who gets lit up like a Christmas tree. The 37-yard line, the receivers for Henry doing their jobs, holding on to every single one of these tight, go. contested passes. Mr. Football just doesn't really have an answer for that play out of tight. You know, all the action going to that left side forces the user there, forces everything to look there, and then you come back with the backside dig. And now Henry going to the ground game. It's the first time we've seen goggles on the field. Eric Dickerson gets nine and a half. Clock moving for Henry. A little bit of that milk and cookies time now for Henry. He wants to slow this game down, at least get it close to that two-minute warning. Still at the 47, so he could potentially milk this whole entire game out now. It will be tough to do so, but definitely a possibility. Back to work on the ground. He's actually going to lose a little bit. He's going to set up a third and short. I don't know if that's a win or a loss right there for 88 because he you know, you force another 30 seconds off the clock here, getting even closer to this two-minute warning, and he's in still a manageable third and one. 30 yard, under three minutes, and there's Keith Byers, and there's a little taste of Mr. Football's Byers medicine. First down for Henry, and as pressure. we're at 230 and counting. Yeah, Nick, pressure starting to build here on 88. You can see him. He knows his back is against the wall right now. Byers to the 47, and you already see it. Oof. With 220 to go, Mr. Football uses one of those timeouts. Palms are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Blanket hoodie. Whatever you want to say, the pressure right now is on Mr. Football. He needs to figure out a way to get a stop. Did, did Eminem say blanket hoodie in that? <laughs> did, did I miss that line? Hand off to Byers. It's going to be short. Third and a yard. It looks like football will let this run down to the two-minute warning. Yeah, I think that's the right decision here, too. Save those two timeouts. Remember, 30-second play clock. So even if he converts here, it's not over. But then your back is really against the wall. So ideally... He's got to hold him on this third and one. You, you would think Henry probably just goes another inside zone. This, this is a tough call for Henry here. I don't know. Looks like he's going to go pass the, on attack. Let's get the entire crew on the horn. We got all five in the booth that's crammed in here. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis, one great user. Boogs and Clef, third and a yard. Oh Henry God. takes off. Oh, Henry one. picks up the first down. That, that, that might be GG's, boys. Uh, it's, GGs. it's over. Are we, looking, you know, are we looking at a five-time champ? He, He'll have time right here. If he if he get a stop right here, he'll get the ball back. He need a quick stop though. And at this point, you gotta run. You have to run commit. First and second down. Yeah. At least on this down, you have to. Yeah. You you, you have to run commit right here because it's not even about just stopping the run. You want to stop the run as fast as possible to save yourself as many seconds. Second down and seven. Henry. And you know one of the. One of the things we was talking about, Nick, it was like that play where 88 just chucked it up mm -hmm. and had an interception, and, and you're like, how? How does this happen? And that's what Clef and Boogs was talking about. That's a beam wow. right there. Yeah, it's like GG's in the chat. Hey, who else? Hey, user, who else? Uh, Steve Smith with the catch. Schmidt. All this, the fun. This is why that we say, you know, he's not playing. Who passes right there? Nobody passes right there on second and seven. Like, nobody calling a pass play there. Like, everybody just running the ball. He's just comfortable. This ain't, a, this ain't the normal belt game for him like it is everybody else. And, and like they said, Henry just finds a way to win these games. Somehow, some way, 88 lo looks like he's in full control. Not only did he come out after half and score, but then he's able to hold Henry to three. You're like, he has it. 
and he just chucks up a play and nobody knows why he throws it. And here you go again. Henry will belt number five. Unbelievable. And it's almost it's almost what happened in the game against Cole, right? He's kind of getting outplayed, I would say. And then Cole throws that pick on the in route. This time, Mitch Football, I don't know what he did there, but throws the pick in the fourth back. quarter. And Henry gets the job done again. Yeah. He's going to have to, uh, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to have to get another shelf or something. He's all, he's all booked up back there. Hey man, big shout out to Ryan Hollins and the Houston Rockets commentating staff watching this man. They've been texting us all the whole yeah, wild card. Hey man, we see y'all boys, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Yep. Now he is in the Falcons uni. And once once upon a time there was a man in a Falcons uni. He's trying to get lucky one right. time. He blocked all a right. kick. Can he block the kick? No. Can he block the kick? Not with these features, Here man. Here we go. You guys no chance of blocking kicks. Three this, seconds though. on the clock. Ball is down. Kick is uh, up. GG. And with zeros on the clock, in the words of LeBron James, Henry has not one, not two, not three, not four. He is a five-time Madden belt winner. Bow down to your king. Henry Leverett is your Madden 23 wild card champion. I think the discussion is over. Greatest of all time. Add another belt to the shelf back there, Henry. He is a five-time MCS champion, and he's $75,000 richer.